hi guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i'm going to be showing y'all how to apply false lashes um a lot of people have been asking me to show them how so i figured i'd just come up with a video and make it easy for everyone so as you can see i don't have anything on my eyes because i just want to give you guys like a really fresh kind of raw just like look as to what it will look like you know when you're putting on your fake lashes i feel like anything on my eye will just take away or distract or block you know like the process so <laughs> so you guys will just see everything i have nothing on my eye just for y'all to learn it's like it's weird because i learned how to put on false lashes the wrong way really good if that made any sense to you at all so once i learned how to put on false lashes the right way it took me like 0.2 seconds and i was like oh well that's easy that could have saved me time and energy but if you are ready to learn how to finally put on false lashes the right way then keep on watching okay so the first thing you'll need is tweezers and you need tweezers like these like with the flathead kind you definitely don't want the pointy tweezers or else it's just you're just done like it's just a wrap you want tweezers that have a really good grip and that have enough like space to grip the lash and does this flathead tweezer that's what I call it. I don't know if that's what it's called but I call it a flathead tweezer so the next thing that you need is mascara so it doesn't it honestly does not matter what mascara you use because of the fact that you're putting on fake lashes like no one's going to be seeing your real lashes but you do need mascara only because even though the lashes are going to be on top of your real ones the mascara helps your real lash blend into the fake lash because the fake lashes are you know harder thicker more darker and then so if you don't put mascara on on your real lash it kind of like sticks out it's it's weird so you need mascara the mascara that i have is the roller lash by benefit again it does not matter what mascara you use it, just use a mascara i say this is law some people may disagree but i say it's law to Put your mascara on before you put on your lashes only because when you put on mascara with your lashes on it just cakes up the lashes and it, it, it's just it's just no it's just like you don't want that <laughs> you don't want caked up lashes it, i've made the mistake trust me and i regretted it right after so you want to coat your lashes before you put on your fake lashes obviously the next thing you need is your lash so I have mine I'm going to zoom in so that you guys can see exactly what I want you guys to do next so with your lash this is how you want to pick it up with the tweezer okay so when you're holding your lash down here like are all the way down with your tweezer it doesn't give you enough balance and it doesn't give you enough control when you're trying to place it on your eye so you want to hold your lash right right under the band and the band is what holds the hairs together and some lashes have a thicker band and the lashes that have a thicker band are usually the lashes that are more dramatic because they're holding more of the hair lashes with a thinner band like this are usually the more natural looking lashes so that when you put them on your waterline you don't really see the band on top of it and it kind of like gives it a, an illusion that it's really yours so this is how you want to hold your lash right here and also another quick tip if you are confused as to what lash goes on what eye you basically follow the way our real lashes go so this lash right here is for my right eye because this is the short end of the lash and it'll meet the inner corner of my right eye if that makes any sense to you guys i hope it does and another tip also is you want to measure your lash if it's too long you want to cut it so you see how the hairs are separated on the lash that's how you measure how you cut you just don't go on a cutting spree with your lash 
before you don't have any more lashes and you got individual lashes and that's a whole separate tutorial on how to apply individual lashes basically the way i would measure how to cut a lash is by cutting it by each individual like couple strands as you can see they're kind of like glued by every couple strand and that's how i would cut them and it's important to measure your lash because sometimes lashes can be too big for your eyelid um, if you're working with clients or just on yourself um, you just want to take the lash and put it on top of your eyelid just to make sure that it's a nice fit if it doesn't go over your eye all of that and um, yeah <laughs> that's what you do before to prep your eye with your lash holding it right at the band knowing which lash goes on what eye and making sure that the lash fits your eye. Now the last thing that you need to apply lashes obviously is lash glue. And the lash glue that I would obviously recommend, it's a lash glue by Absolute New York and it comes in a small black tube. Um, I usually get mine from the hair store to be quite honest. Um, it comes in clear and black, but I prefer the clear. Typically with black lash glue, like let's say you have an eye look that you, you know, you work so hard on, like, and this is coming from experience. Like this has happened to me before. So girl, like when I tell you, you know, working so hard on an eye look and it's time now to put your lash on and, and things happen, you know, like, so if you're putting your lash on, all of a sudden you blink by accident or something and the black lash glue gets on your eyeshadow and you got to do the whole eye over like that has happened to me before and it is the most frustrating thing but with clear lash glue it dries on clear and you don't have to worry about it i'm preaching about this lash glue but i just ran out of it <laughs> and i have to go to the hair store to buy more but an alternative to lash glue that i actually started using before i ever bought my first lash glue is hair glue yep hair glue the hair glue that you glue tracks on to make a wig or you know a quick weave or whatever yes hair glue um it works just as fine it's not dangerous it's fine on your eye the thing with hair glue though is you know it is meant for tracks and on someone's head like it's meant it's durable so what I recommend is to like put the minimal amount from the end of the band to the other end of the band. That's all you need, such a minimal amount. And lucky enough, this comes with a nozzle. So, and again, this is why it's important to hold your lash where you, the tweezers are right there under the lash band because it gives you the control. So as you're putting the glue on the lash band, it doesn't move and then from there, you're able to place it on your eye just like that. So before I place the glue, I'm actually gonna show you the technique on how to actually put on the lash only because I don't want the glue to dry. The moment you've all been waiting for. So this is how to actually apply the lash on your lash line. So you're gonna want a mirror, whether it's a compact mirror or a mirror that I have. I have like a two-way face mirror that sits in front of me when I do my makeup. The way you want to hold your mirror is right under your chin so this is my mirror right here i'm placing it under my chin and i'm tilting it up so that way i'm looking down at myself in my mirror you want to place your lash is directly in the middle of your eye because once your lash is in the middle then you can anchor the rest of the lash down and literally that's it 2.5 seconds like but mirror under my chin directly in the middle of my waterline and then I would go in onto the sides and anchor the rest of the sides down so now I'm going to actually show you so with my lash it does not have a lot of glue on it just enough that's all I need the mirror is directly under my chin taking my lash and let go that's all you have to do once it's secured after you push it on the middle you let go and you just take the other end, you bring it down that way, you let go, you take the other end, you bring it down that way, you let go, and your lash is on. Boom. Wait a minute. 
No, that was too easy, right? Okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. Another trick or a little, not really a trick, a tip this time that I advise is for you to take your tweezer and you want to secure now the lash onto your real lashes so that they blend together. And the way you do that is you just, you just take your real lash and the fake lash and just pinch them together. Okay. That's it. And now you guys are pros at putting on fake lashes. I told you guys it would be simple and this is coming from someone who used to, who learned how to put on fake lashes with my mirror right here. Like, <laughs> like, like that, seriously. And honestly, I feel like the reason why the under the chin trick works is because when you're looking at yourself under when you're putting on your fake lashes one your hand is not in the way as if it would be if your mirror is in front of you your hand is actually over your eye so you can actually see where you're placing the lash you can see your waterline to actually place the lash on and it's, it's just all around just easier whereas if the mirror is like right here it's like what are you doing and again I learned how to put on my lashes the wrong way but I learned how to put my lashes the wrong way perfectly, if that makes any sense. So once I learned that, you know, putting on lashes under the chin is so much easier, I literally was like, Doop! like so quick. And I was like, wow, I wish I knew this before I was struggling to put on my lashes. It was just so impossible. But it's not about me anymore. It's about you guys. And I hope you guys really learned how to put on lashes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs> um, leave comments. If you went and tried to put on lashes right after watching this, let me know. Or, you know, just whatever. Any other questions? Something that I may have missed or you still have more questions, you know? So that is it for this video, my loves. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.